Hey what's going on guys Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr Zebo welcome you guys to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial so in this video we're going to be learning to make this camera recording effect in a very easy way so without any delay let's get started Alright, so I have a video in my project. Let me right click on this and create a new sequence from the clip. And uh, we have a sequence created. And let me show you what this video has got. There's this video where you have flowers and we'll be adding the recording effect onto our video. So in order to do that, I have an element downloaded from Production Grade. Let me show you this website. So I'll attach the link in the description. This is called Production Crate. You have tons of visual effects content that you can download absolutely free. And uh, you can also become a member wherein you can download some exclusive content. So let me type in the search bar. I'll type in camera recording. Hit enter and you can see that we have a, um, an element called recording overlay loopable. So I'm using this specific you know element you can download this absolutely free so um, I have this in my project and I'll let me drag this to the right side panel here so that it is on the top of our video just like this so now I'll hold alt on my keyboard and drag it until the end of the video just so that you know it gets duplicated and it is appearing until the end of our video so the next thing that we'll have to do is is to add some um, grids here just so that it looks as if it is recording so in order to do that I'll right click here and create a new item called adjustment layer I'll hit OK and I'll drag this adjustment layer onto the top of our videos just like this let me increase this until the end of the video and I'll go to the FX panel and simply type in grid and I'll drag this grid effect onto our adjustment layer just like this. So since the grid effect is added, let me change the blending mode to screen just so that, you know, our bottommost video is visible. And then I'll change the anchor point of um, X value to zero. And I'll then change the corner to the right side, just like this and i'll also change the um, width in such a way that we have a lot of grid lines not too much but just like this you have a lot of grid lines and i'll increase the border to um, eight just so that they are quite thick and i'll then change the color to a dark you know a medium gray color i'll hit ok and i'll also change the opacity to around um, 50 just so that you no know, I'll, I'll set this to 70 so that you have some cool grid lines so the next effect that we're gonna apply onto our adjustment layer is noise so simply type in noise and you have this noise effect in noise and brain folder and drag this onto your adjustment layer just like this I'll increase the amount of noise to 20% or um, I'll, I'll uncheck this use color noise and if I start playing this you can see there's a bit noise added well, I'll just increase this to 40 um, now it looks fine so one more effect that you can apply to make it seem quite natural is I'll move both the topmost videos a layer above and I'll simply type in blur in the FX panel and you have this um, camera blur in the video effects and I'll drag this onto our video just like this I'll set the blur value the percentage blur value to 1 to this video and I'll hold alt on my keyboard and duplicate this video one above like this and I'll then change the blending mode to screen just in you know just to have something like this and I'll increase the percentage blur to 3 okay and I'll then move the position value in such a way that it is 
it moves something like this to give a sort of color leak effect and just simply reduce this opacity value to 20 percent so what this does is or i'll change this to um, 30 what this does is it it gives you some color leak effect so this is how you make some um cool looking camera recording effect using adobe premiere pro i hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial